Cortez in there for the red shirts na Blackwater Elite together with Poy Eram, Carlo Laftimofa, MJ Red, and Rail Cervantes. And immediately turn over. Ang kanya lang ginawa, slam dunk naman para kay Odeus Jeffers. Nakasama niya ngayon, Kagiwa, Tenorio, Aguilar, at Slaughter. Yun ang starting five nila kanina. And, uh, well, immediately, ah, dagdag turnover na sa pag-umbisa. Well, they're playing the passing lanes. Yun ang ginagawa ng Barangay Hinebra because they know that this team is a good defensive team. Mali ang angulo off the glass. Ito si J.P. Eram. So, that's another miss. Tenorio goes all the way in. The lob. Aguilar, if a follow-up jumps on, I'm in this, and it's tipped away by Mike Cortez, who got hit on the head. Nasiko yata, ito si uh, Mike Cortez. Napagsakas yun ni Poy Eram. Teammate, eh, no? Teammate yung tumama sa kanya. No blood drawn. And as they set this up, let's uh, hear from Riza Diaz. Charlie from coach Tim Cohen. Ironically, he was satisfied with the way they performed the first two quarters. According to him, they're doing something right defensively, limiting Blackwater to just 32 points when they would average about 102 in a game. Ang sabi niya, our offense will come in on its own time. Let's just do things right defensively because that's where the energy is coming from. Charlie. Thanks a lot. Ikaw uh, yung Barangay Hinebra. Happy ka. Dahil satisfied ang coach ninyo in the first up, but they gotta keep it up and uh, check the three-pointer. That's a three from Real Cervantes at it's atin ang Oppo F1 selfie expert. Ako tinitinan ko, Charlie, yung the way Hinebra is getting a lot of easy, ba easy uh, pass ball game. Kita mo dito, gumagano na yung defense ng Blackwater. Ganda na setup. Ito si Carlo Laptimosa drawing that defense until the very last second, Eric, sabay baksa kay MJ Red. Well, he, they play that uh, fast break very well, that two, uh, two-man fast break. Tabla tayo 37 all. That's our second deadlock of this game so far on the drive inside. There's a foul. MJ Red. Pangalawa niya yan. Pero ito a while ago. Quality play brought to us by Mariwasa Tile, celebrating 50 years of uncompromising quality. Sheffers with the jam. Double digits na siya. Double digits na rin si MJ Red. Well, kung, kung uh, pag-uusapan natin depensa, Kung walang nangyayari doon sa iyong uh, half-court set, which is uh, yung triangle offense ng Barangay Hinebra, binabawi nila yan eh, kagaya ng mga layup na pinaka or yung dunk ni Otis Jeffers because nagmumula yon galing sa good defense. Swakad dalawang free throw ni Greg Slaughter to give his team a two-point lead. He's got eight points in the game. Sastimosa. Out to rim. He really has three shooter yan. Nakapress niya a while ago. Let's see what he can do. Kicks it out to Mike Cortez. That's a three on the way. No go. Miss timing his jump was Eram. Jump it on the break. And Merokong reach in. Foul from Carlo Laftimosa. Chance for a three-point play. From our angle, akala ko nga walang foul eh. Parang uh, uh, tingnan natin dito, walang tinamaan dito si Carlo Laftimosa. But it's not at that angle because you won't really see it oh. there. And Japan this time, you know, remembering to put the ball on the floor, Eric. And he got ay nakalina traveling sa. But that's a miss on the free throw. Pero mortal sin para sa Blackwater Elite. Pinayagan makuha ng offensive rebound ng Barangay Hinebra. That's a strength of Barangay Hinebra. They're playing to a great defensive team and a good rebounding. Yung nakagawa ni Matibay. Oh, he won't get an easier shot than that. Grabe yung dunk talaga kay Greg Slaughter. Sinili pa yung, ano, yung ring kung may dumi. Eh, no? Nag-tiptoe lang yata. Eh. Kaya nga. Eh. Abot na niya. So what poor. Move, what a move. But another great defensive effort there by Barangay. Eh. Lakas pa ng bagsak ni MJ Red. Di pa nakakatayo. Nakabasket na si Tenorio on the other end. Chance ang maka three-point play. And just a really positive sequence para sa Barangay Hinebra for Blackwater though. They're losing focus here after the game was tied at 37 all. It's 8 0 for Barangay Hinebra. But here, they still have to communicate as teammates. That's why it led to an easy basket. But here, look at the wonderful way. Boom. Two big guys challenging that layup. And it translates to an easy basket on the opposite end. Tamara has been called on the floor. 9 15 remaining in the third. Okay, open man. Have, uh, have that confidence. Have that confidence in your game. Okay, defensively, more aggressiveness. More aggressiveness. Okay, go, 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 go. Public po ang coverage ng PBA Commissioner's Cup dito sa Field Sports Arena. Blackwater. 
stumbling in the past couple of plays. Eh, tabla ng 37, biglang umarangkada itong Barangay Ginebra, 45 to 37. Now, Carlos of Timosa wants to break the drought. And he does just that with a three-pointer. This time, an OPOF one. Selfie expert. That's his sixth point of the game. Carlo, ma ma ano, not, not really a, a high-scoring night, which is usually the, the, the game of Carlos Timosa because he got beaten in Barangay Ginebra. Rapid Aguilar traveling inside and hesitate to some of the pass on the LA Tenorio. Would you like the ball movement, or rather, was that from Jeffers? And, uh, you know, could have been another assist for them. Well, at this point, Barangay Hinebra, but prior to this, uh, you know, this, this set by Blackwater, nakakuwa sila ng magandang uh, ano, zone. So, the more ball movement from that zone was very good. Well, there's MJ Retta. Uh, tuloy tuloy ang kanyang. Uh, Pagsisipag dyan sa ilalim, getting another offensive rebound. Free throws na naman para sa import ng uh, barangay, uh, ng uh, Blackwater Elite. And at this juncture, nice namin batiin ng isang maligayang uh, happy birthday kay Milo Malibiran. At happy viewing sa mga Petromin boys from Riyadh. At si Don Faustino ng Baguio. Mga diehard barangay Hinebra fans yan. Right now, tutuwa sila dahil lamang ng uh, lima ang kanilang koponan. But uh, Blackwater is really just trying to keep in step. Well, you know, wala naman kailangan na, uh, you know, ipangamba itong Blackwater because they're only down by five, Charlie. So, kahit pa paano, of course, hindi nga lang nila na ilalaro yung kanilang gusto gawin, which is a high-scoring game. Pero Hinebra, you know, you, this is really a Hinebra game. You want to keep it low-scoring and you want your uh, defense to thrive. Pero yung movement na yan, ha? Nalayo pa ng mga pasa, and yun, nakompleto. Ni L.A. Tenorio. You know, you might have thought that those were dangerous passes going back and forth, but you know, when it results in a basket like that, okay na rin yun. Well, um, ang maganda dong uh, kay L.A., you know, especially in this game, he's picking his shots. Hindi siya nag-rely sa, sa kanyon lang ng kanyon sa labas. He's driving to the basket and trying to draw that ball. And Jared stepping into a jumper, Mintis. Ito si L.A. Tenorio leading the break. And Duran Depends and Blackwater, Slaughter on the run, that's a travel. Hirap kasi bigyan talaga yung mga ganyan kanilaki mama on the run ng bola. Well, it's it's off um, a transition play. You normally want to give it to your big guy uh, off the seal. Pero in that case, nagulat si Eli ang nag-trail eh si Greg Slaughter dun sa wing. Tipped out of bounds. Ball stays sa panic ng Blackwater Elite. Real Cervantes ang gagawa ng inbound at the baseline. Cool cut inside to Red, who loses the ball. Ito na naman ang mga nakaputi. On the run, ganun yun. Para isang galaw na lang. Duck, duck na. Japit Aguilar for the slam. You know, the, the, so dominating itong game at the defense ng Barangay Hinebra. Ang dali na ng basketball sa kanila once they get on a break. Cortez. Ganap na nakape. Real Cervantes ang lumabas. Para tanggapin sa kanyang pag-ikot. Agaw na naman ang nangyari. Jeffers thought of passing it. Iniwan ko siya! And there you go! Back-to-back -back slam dunk for Japet. But that was an exclamation point to a great run by Barangay Hinebra. 15 points to 4. 15 for run. And look at this uh, attack right here. At mula yan, ito yung kanina. Ito yung pinakaunang layup ng Barangay Hinebra. At because of a good defensive stop again, it just goes for another easy slam on Jopin Aguilar. Well, it execute well. Hey, if it's not there, have that patience. Pull it back. Okay, organize on the other side. Okay, we can operate either side. Okay, but we need patience. Now we need patience. Okay, we need to be sure with what we're doing. Okay, we just can't throw the ball away. Ah, they are a very good team, so don't give them that advantage. Okay, work hard. Go! Back to the action. Blackwater Elite na iiwanan na rito sa third quarter. 11 points na lamang ng Banagay Hinebra. Iran tries to make his move. Trio of Ateneo Centers converging there. Former Ateneo Centers, but the, the two older ones prevailed. Again, keeping your hands active on defense is what really happened in that play. Gusto umaliyog sana, Aguilar to Slaughter. That blew up in their faces. 
Lastimosa on the run. He gets that shot. Oh, no, 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 no. Carlo has to make his move now. This is the best time for Carlo to take over this game. And to show that talaga, uh, you know, he's the main scorer para sa kanyang opponent. They need his points right now. Well, what would appear, Charlie, to me is that, uh, you know, you put the uh, Mark Aguiwa on uh, uh, Carlo Lastimosa, the best scorer of Blackwater. And so far, Mark is doing a good job because he's not just the one who has a lot of points here. That's right. Uh, right, zero points here si Mark Aguiwa. He, he went to jump and I keep going to put his effort down the defensive end. But there, on that play, going to work, Carlo Lastimosa. And you know, he's a scorer. And uh, it doesn't have to be outside shots or runners. He can you know, find ways to score. One of them is by getting to the line. But that, that's also a, a, a good sign of uh, yung, yung uh, pagiging kompleto ni Mark Aguiwa, you know, he was really known for to be an explosive scorer. Pero dito, kahit pa konti, konti lang yung ginagawa ni Mark Aguiwa, ang ganda naman ang pwede yung defense. Ito may shout back ito si Mike Ortef. Tinan nyo, played pretty much with all my idols like Helter Brandy Kagiwa. Parang ngayong gabi, when I play against him, I know it's always a war. You can be heard through shout. Punta lang sa Sports 5 PH at tanapin ang shout tap. At magparamdam ng suporta sa inyong mga PBA idols. S-H-O-W-T po yan. Carlo Lastimosa, or at least that free throw. Miris 10, Tenorio nagmamadali. A change of direction in LA talaga. Had to go out, however, to Sol and Scali, so the three guards are in there. Thompson finding Tenorio, quick pass to Sol. Might have, uh, should have probably taken that shot, but goes to Tenorio. That's a miss. Jeffers, unable to get the oh. rebound. Never giving up on the play. Scotty Thompson tapping it to Jeffers. You know, that presence of mind, he was the closest to MJ Red. He reached out for that basketball. And again, so many players of Barangay Ginebra making a good contribution here. You know, Scotty Thompson fell into Barangay Ginebra's lap. They're very happy at his performance. But the Carlos Estimosa is still there. He's still in double digits, 11 points. Na. Although, 10 points pa. He's still in the game. Usually, he can score in his 30s. That's why Carlo really is really taking matters in, into his own hands. But here, the only thing they need to remember is really their defense. They have to improve something which they have been doing very well in the first half. Well, that pass was really high. He didn't get Japet Aguilar. This is the pass to the back of Japet for a cool play. Brought to us by Hitachi. Three-way class innovations. One name in air conditioning, Hitachi. And while we were watching Japet hanging on the ring, in the real time, he did that with MJ Red. He saw the replay on the big screen. He did that. He did that. Tenorio swings to Sol. Back to LA. Thompson. And there's one of those instances na sinabi mo nga, baka to unselfish na. Yes. Uh, sometimes, you know, pag pakonti-konti nga lang naman, uh, pero sometimes you just have to give it up, babawiin na lang nila in the next position. Well, Lastimofa took that shot, nakadraw na naman ang foul, balik sa linya ang dalawa, but we could see MJ Red talking to him and say, hey, I was open. Di ba? Yes. Ito <laughs> well, mo si MJ Red pang... Anong balita, Riz? Charlie, dalawang bagay lang naman hinihingi ni Coach Leo Isaac. Unang-una, patience. Patience in limiting that effectiveness of Barangay Ginebra offense. At syempre nga, confidence o kumpiyansa. Kitang-kita natin yan na ginagawa nito ni Carlo Lastimosa. Ang sabi lang ni Coach Leo Isaac, let's just not try to turn the ball over. Otherwise, it is like feeding fuel to the fire. Dahil every turnover, eh, tumatakbo nga itong Barangay Ginebra. Charlie? Well, tama yun. No? Uh, we, we've seen that time and again here sa third quarter. Tatakbo talaga itong mga barangay. Pinapigyan mo ng pagkakataon. Look at that. Ano? Tinago lang muna yung bola. He took his time. I thought he was going to get blocked there after the hesitation. Here he goes again. He's now going one and one. Mander na. 15 puntos na para kay Carlo Laftimosa. Lahat yun ginawa niya sa third quarter. Six point lead for Barangay. Three minutes, 22 na titira. Thompson. Goes over to Tenorio, the baseline drive, the jumper rattles out, jumping inside, gets fouled. Grabe yung ginagawa dito ng Barangay Ginebra. You know, sinasabi nga ni Coach Lee, you cannot beat this team by being careless. You have to be very patient with your offense, you have to move the ball around, you have to give that extra pass, maybe two or even three, because the defense is right there. 
Pangatlong foul ni MJ Retion. And you know, to say that uh, Japit Aguilar has been active in this game would be an understatement. Senor Reyes, as we see, ulalam, instant ulam. Ang instant ulam para sa game na hindi mo maiwan. Ngayon, meron ng breakfast tapa at kusino. Hindi lang basta ulam, instant ulam. One out of two. And James Sena, nakapapasok lang dito sa third quarter. Eh, kuha ng rebound. Carlo with the ball once again. Had to pick up his dribble. Arthur De La Cruz in the lane. Hook shot niya. Wala. Andun si Rep for the putback. Meron pa pa. Those are the things that uh, Blackwater would really have to do. You just have to attack the glass. And you just have to go on and penetrate the lane. Because pag nagkaroon ng breakdown, there are a lot of good chances that magkakaroon ng mga pura. There's going to be a free throw for MJ Rep when we come back after this time. Maganda kay Blackwater, hindi sila nawawala ng loob. Eh, parati naman pinakaalala ni Coach Leo sa aksa. Ni Coach Leo is aksa kanila. Naikompleto ni MJ Rett ang three-point play opportunity. Cutting the lead down to just three. Two minutes and 48 remaining third quarter. Both here's Jeffers. Both to Scotty Thompson. Ang matagal ang playing time dito sa third quarter. Jody Vance came in to replace Aguilar a while ago. Jeffers to the hoop. Blocked upstairs by MJ Rett. Ngunit may foul sa kanyang pag-drive. Sino ang matatawagan? Number 15, James Senna, kanyang unang personal. Oh, James Senna, kakapasok lang halos in this quarter. So maganda yung ginawa dito ni, uh, ni uh, Othius Jeffers. Atakihin mo na kagad habang malamig pa. And Othius Jeffers, you know, his, his scoring has been up and down sa kumperensang ito. He's had a couple of uh, big scoring games. May iba naman na kulang na kulang. Right now, he hits one out of two, Molasarina. Four-point lead for his team. Laftimosa calling the play. MJ Rett on the screen. And I began to get Rett, but it's just basa. The Othius Jeffers, yan. he will go straight to the hoop. It's a mistake. I mean, I'm going to call it Laftimosa because he, he went too far because he never trapped him right there with two guys. Naipit si Mike Cortez. At yun, nawala na rin. Traveling ang tinawag kontra kay Kulkat. Balik ang bola sa panig ng barangay Hinebra. Di man na... Spacing, uh, Charlie. Yun na nga eh. Spacing is key. The two possessions already by Blackwater. Ang layo masyado eh. You want to space out between 15. Maximum siguro 18 feet away. Pag lumampas doon, Charlie, ang hirap ipas yung bola because aktibo yung depensa ng barangay. Quick hands mula kay Kulkat. Kapit yung bola palabas. Denying Scotty Thompson. And Kulkat insisting na tumama pa kay Thompson bago luwa ba? Sabi niya ng referee, hindi. Thompson inside. Nakaw play try. Hindi may pasok ni Jeffers. Sinong kukuha ng rebound? MJ Rett na pumulot. And there's a reach in mula kay Scotty Thompson. So ball goes back to Blackwater Elite. Penalty na ba? Hindi pa. Ayun pa lang. So, wala pang free throws na ibibigay kay uh, MJ Rett. Greg Slaughter coming back in and Otheus will take a rest with only a minute and 46 remaining. Perfect time uh, by Coach Tim. The rest is in for And at the same time, maganda rin yung nakapagpahinga na si Greg Slaughter dito sa ating lot. Arthur De La Cruz. That was challenge, Charlie. Maganda yung rotation doon. Bounce kay Joe Devance. Inside the slaughter. Turn. Hook shot. Paso. Again, that patience. Napaka-simple yung offense ng Barangay Hinebra, but the good thing is, umiikot from left to right yung bola. Mario Laftimosa na naman may ng bola. Malapit na mag one minute, uh, last minute mark dito sa third quarter. Nabigay kay Cortez. Had to give it up. MJ Rett, three to shoot. Pumilos. Kamil Kaliwa, kick out kay Laftimosa. Second to go, turn around, jumper. Buntik pang pumasok. Andun si Arthur De La Cruz. At andun naman si MJ Rett. What a play from Blackwater. You know, you have to play defense for 24 seconds, Charlie. Hindi ka pwedeng 23 seconds lang. And the last second, you would give up an offensive rebound. Dalawang beses pa. Yes. Pass goes to Devan. Strong side. Good. Look. 
You know, Scotty Thompson na naman yata yes, namasa. Yes, with Jody Vance. Yeah, Napaka-ganda ng ball movement talaga rito ng Barangay Hinebra. That's why it makes them look so good with the way they're running that offense. Pass goes to James Sena. He has that jumper. Money and special yung, oh, kick. Yun na nga, mga 15-foot J na ganyan. Well, that's also going to be a good matchup because it will force Greg Slaughter to extend out. There's still a differential of about three seconds between the game clock and the shot clock. Jody Vance has a lead. Hindi na muna. Sol, three pointer, top of the key. In and out, breath down, Uanya, three seconds to go. Have to check the clock, is he aware? Apparently, he did. He was able to get it off. Good fight. After three quarters, Japit Aguilar, now Buhay is a quarter three as well as the ref of Baraka Hinebra. 11 of uh, his points, but 11 points already in the game, six of them in the third. Two jams, the second one a monster throwdown, Union, and his team is up. As we're entering the fourth quarter in a couple of minutes, 65 to 59.